On June 22nd, 2017, a merchant vessel sailing in Russian waters in the Black Sea disappeared from screens. The ship hadn't actually gone anywhere, but its GPS signal was now showing that it was about 25 miles away. It now appeared to be in mainland Russia, at an airport. And it wasn't just one ship. All the ships in the vicinity were uh, facing the same, exactly the same problem. So basically we were all stuck in the same position, like 20 ships in the same position pretty much. The case is one of the first well-documented examples of what experts are calling GPS spoofing, something that could be used as a cyber weapon. So what is GPS spoofing? Well, there are two main ways to throw off a GPS signal. The first is spoofing, where a receiver is tricked into thinking it's somewhere other than its actual location. The second is jamming, which scrambles a GPS signal, leaving it unreadable. And here's the thing, spoofing can be pulled off without the user even knowing it's happening, as the residents of Moscow know all too well. We see similarities. Uh, around the Kremlin in Moscow, GPS receivers have been reporting the location of another airport about 20 miles away. In late 2016, GPS receivers like the one in your smartphone were registering a strange phenomenon. If you had used Google Maps or a GPS device, you'd find your location would have shifted to Venukovo Airport on the outskirts of town. CNN verified the incident, which was widespread. Russian officials haven't responded to our request for comment, but even Putin's spokesperson acknowledged it happened to him while driving. So do I think this is a sign that the spoofing is government-backed or state-sponsored? I would have to say the evidence points to yes. Um, the comparison with is just striking.